Hey guys, Shane Simmons, the Appalachian Project. I thought I'd give you a little shot. We did end up having a white Christmas after all, so I'm here in Cedar Bluff, Virginia, and I thought I would, uh, and that's in Tazewell County, I thought I'd show you a little bit of the, of the uh, snow we did get. So, hope you enjoy this. Okay, Shane Simmons, we did get a white Christmas after all. Makes a lot of people happy. Let me give you a shot of this. This is the uh, cuts. Hill, Cedar Bluff. And that's the old historic grist mill that's been refurbished. And if I'm not mistaken, the Appalachian Arts uh, is moving into there. And if, and, and if that's the case, they saw our book. PD the pink tailed possum a school tail in there, so I want to plug them. If I'm wrong about that, I'll still plug the Appalachian Arts Center. And there's the not historic car wash. Anyway, I'm at the post office. It's really hard to find somewhere to pull over because the roads are pretty treacherous, or at least the secondary roads. The main roads are not bad at all. But I'll give you a shot of what it's looking like around here. Finish up there at the grist mill. So I moved it on down just a little bit. I was going to get a shot of this gazebo. I think that's kind of cute here in the Cedar Bluff Town Square. Got decorated for Christmas. Looks really good with the snow on the top of it. And here's Cedar Bluff Elementary School. That's where my two sons went to elementary school. Let's give you a shot of that. And maybe. Hopefully I'll find something else interesting for you here in a minute. And I'm still here in Cedar Bluff I'm on these railroad tracks and hopefully you can see the cuts back in the background there. It's pretty neat right along these railroad tracks. Give you a little different perspective of that. I took a picture from here a few years ago and it just killed it. Some beautiful snow coming down. Anyway, got to find a place to turn around. Oh, miracles do happen. I did a little, little Austin Powers in a forklift uh, back and forth for about 20 minutes, one inch at a time, but I got here. Anyway, this is the other side of the railroad tracks. Absolutely beautiful. And one last look from the other side. I uh, love that. I, I just love how that railroad tracks are going around the bend there. I always think when it just disappears into the distance. Something cool about that, to me anyway. Always had a fascination with railroads anyway. A little idea of what I mean by some of the roads being, secondary roads being a little rougher. I mean, not totally unpassable, but probably don't want to push it unless you got a four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. Not going to be the greatest view you've ever seen of it, but I did want to get a shot of the Cedar Bluff School while I could, too. It's pretty historic around here and beloved. It'd be nice to see that thing fixed up and made into something, but I don't know what it would take to do that. And of course, the venerable Singleton Funeral Home. Come right back here where the gazebo was. It might be nice to get a closer view of the uh, grist mill. I had my first wedding reception here, and it was a fantastic place. I met the guy that fixed it up, uh, Ray Childress, I do believe was his name. Talked to him a few times, he was a nice guy. He did almost all the work to fix this thing back up. And it's perfect scenery there, and I wish I could get over there. It's just a little too too tough to do. I'll walk up here and see what you can what I can show you, but it's kind of neat where the water uh, would have met the mill. You can 
can see. Part of this flows into the Clinch River, so about the uh, gross mill part of it would be about right back, back in through there, and I can't quite get to it. It's dated off. Getting called. I'll get tongue tied here in a second. Start sounding like I'm speaking in Portuguese or something, but anyway, I'll give you this to one thought a lot of people would like to see that. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this look at Cedar Bluff on a snowy Christmas day, a white Christmas. Better get in the car and thaw out. Uh, anyway, I hope you all had a Merry Christmas and really appreciate you watching these videos and I had something very insightful and profound to say and it's not coming to me that's why I'm stalling and putting in words and talking and just hoping it'll come to me so I can bail myself out and instead of just wasting your time right now but it's not coming to me and it's in fact it's even further away than it's ever been anyway <laughs> Merry Christmas thanks for liking and subscribing and supporting us in every way that you do thanks for your donations and I'll see you down the road <laughs>